there is one more noteworthy thing about this jingle package, and it has to do with how a weather jingle turned into a legendary audio signature. The background is that for some time, WABC had been using the sound of a chime by itself at the end of songs as a cue for DJs to deliver the chime time. That's very good. Yes, that's number that's number six this week. The Toys Lovers Concerto. WABC chime time is 21 minutes in front of six on WABC. Big Dan with music just for you. But the inset package contained a weather jingle, which the station used. <laughs> Dang, cloudy this afternoon and tonight. Temperatures, uh, they went above the record 61. They went to 62 about 1 o'clock. There was a slightly different sing of that weather jingle that never got used for weather, but its destiny was to be used for a much more famous purpose. The weather thing is in WABC. The station decided to use the call letter sing at the end of that jingle and add their famous chime to it. The result was W-A-B-C. and that was the sound heard at the end of every song that was in the top 14 on the survey because 14 was 7 plus 7 you see and it was a jingle that permeated any environment whether it was on a beach or on a crowded street you could always hear that chime. At WABC, the chime time is six minutes past one o'clock on the Charlie Greer Show, now 26 degrees. Skies are clear in New York at WABC. As it turned out, that chime jingle was the last sound to be heard before WABC made the switch from music to talk 17 years later. But we'll get to that story in a while as our history continues. John Wolford on B1 Radio. In 1966, it was time to freshen WABC's jingle sound once again. The story goes that Rick Sklar, the program director, and Bill Meeks from PAMS were walking down a street in Manhattan trying to decide on a theme for the new package. Now, there's always construction and demolition going on in the city, and as they were talking, they heard the sound of an explosion. They instantly knew that that could be turned into a... Explosion! Music Explosion was Pam Series 31. It featured a four male vocal group singing in tight harmony with incredible power delivered by lead singer Marv Shaw. The New York Sound! 77 Music WABC! Every jingle in this package had lyrics emphasizing music, and the Sonovox was used to really highlight that word. 77 Music W-A-B-C Music That's our middle name 77 Music W-A-B-C More and more people hear more and more music on 77 WABC. In a move slightly ahead of its time, many of the jingles in this package had a cappella endings, enabling the station to go right into a record without having to wait longer than necessary for the jingle to end. WABC. Much more W-A-B-C music. W-A-B-C. 77. There were also a cappellas in this package, which took on lives of their own. W-A-B-C. Super hip one. W-A-B-C. Super hip two. Each DJ had his name sung to a different melody, and many of those a cappellas far outlasted most of the jingles in the package. Run, one knee, Dan Ingram, Cousin Brucey, Herb, Oscar Anderson, Chuck Leonard, Charlie Greer, Babalu. One particular jingle has a story worth telling. It was originally intended for use in the summer 
when the weather was warm and everybody driving a convertible had their top down. Go, 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 the top down sound of 77 W-A-B-C. There was also a lesser-known version sung for people listening by a swimming pool. Go, 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 the poolside sound of 77 W-A-B-C. As it happened, for 13 days in March and April 1967, all the major networks and their owned stations were affected by a strike by the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, The union, better known as AFTRA. The WABC DJs couldn't be on the air, and many of them joined the picket lines that were outside the ABC building. The on-air tasks had to be handled by management personnel. You never knew what you were going to hear, and it was really a surreal time to be listening to WABC. It's the first walkout in the 30-year history of the union. Supervisory personnel are keeping the networks on the air, doing news shows and performing other on-the-air duties. Some members of some other unions refuse to cross picket lines. Those picket lines, incidentally, are manned by millions of dollars worth of radio and TV talent, from Murphy Martin and Walter Cronkite to Cousin Brucie and Captain Kangaroo. And that's the shape and sound of the news this day in Greater New York. Hal Neal saying, have a pleasant evening. Stay tuned to News Scope. Hal Neal was the president of ABC Radio at the time. And then there was this. It's 525. This is Rick Sklar with News Briefs five minutes sooner from WABC Radio. The Patrolman's Benevolent Association has announced the postponement of a... In a genius move, Rick Sklar decided to turn the strike into a plus by producing a special version of the station's weekly super hit rundown promo. Except instead of the usual intro... This week, WABC proudly presents these super hit sounds, Freddy and the Dreamers! I'm telling you now... The Supreme. Now the promo was about the DJs you could see on the picket line. This hour, you will see these super pickets in front of WABC. Herb Oscar Anderson. Ron Lundy. You're in with Ron Lundy. Dan Ingram. Bruce Morrow. Cousin Bruce. Chuck Leonard. He's a go go. Chuck Leonard. Charlie Greer. Green Charlie. Bob Lewis. Plus dozens of other stars in continuous appearances. Remember, more of the pickets you want to see are in front of all. Don't forget truck luck WABC's giant concert. And of course, Rick called down to Pam's and had them quickly record this special version of the top-down sound jingle. Strikes and music, strikes and music, the strike-bound sound of 77 WABC. Oh, and just to complete our corporate history lesson, on December 21st, 1966, the name was changed one more time to American Broadcasting Companies, Inc., ABC. W-A-B-C. We are talking about the jingles that were used on WABC in New York, and New York City has had some colorful nicknames over the years, Gotham, the Empire City, the Big Apple... But in 1966, a new name was added, one that was supposed to be a joke. It came about because the city had a new mayor, John Lindsay. On his first day in office, the city was crippled by a transit strike. And soon after that, he did an interview with Dick Schapp, who was then a Metro columnist with the New York Herald Tribune newspaper. The mayor was asked if he was still happy to be the mayor. Lindsay responded... I still think it's a fun city. Schapp put that term in his column sarcastically, but it stuck, and it was the inspiration for WABC's next jingle package, Pam Series 33. 77 WABC, the music capital of the city. Just for 
Just for Fun, sometimes known as Fun Vibrations, debuted in 1967, and it tried to use the word fun in every imaginable way. New York girls have lots of fun with 77 WABC. Since the package was all about fun vibrations, every time the word was sung at the end of a jingle, it was given a unique vibrating tremolo effect. 77 fun! Yes, John Lindsay's offhand remark had become quite a catchphrase. In the last week of June 1967, the mayor wanted to acknowledge some event, I can't remember what it was, but WABC's Dan Ingram was happy to comply. More music on 77 WABC. Well, let's see, Mayor Lindsay told everybody at 2 o'clock to ring a bell, and it is now 2 o'clock. Beep. WABC. So we have rung our bell, right? Never let it be said we did not heed the mayor of Fun City. WABC's Dan Ingram. Go, go, go! Here you go, Johnny Babe. Ha, <laughs> beauty, huh? Yes, sir. Get Quasimodo on the phone. We'll call more bells. Yep. New York had become Fun City. Turn your mind up, baby. Feel the fun vibrations on 77. Many of the jingles in this package featured a new sound, the voice of Trella Hart. Trella had actually first appeared on Pam Series 32, which had been sung for WABC, but the station didn't use any of it, well, except for one instrumental cut. And moving forward, there would be plenty of other instances where WABC skipped over Pam's offerings completely. But they did enjoy fun vibrations and the unique sound of Trella. 77 WABC. 77 WABC. <laughs> and speaking of all that laughter. <laughs> 77. <laughs> Back in 1972, I asked Trella whether it was difficult to be that happy in a studio all by herself. Oh, not really. I, I, there were times when I'd have to go in the studio at nine in the morning and do nothing but laugh. Because they, they, you know, all the disc jockeys wanted personalized little things, and I'd have to say cute things to them and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'd do that for a couple of hours, you know, just one-liners, just funny things that they wanted me to say. Oh, no, I never really got tired of that. Really? Because, because yeah. mostly because it was pleasing somebody, you know. You know, when you're, when you're really, everybody's liking something, it's, it's pretty easy to do something even if you don't like it, which that wasn't the case. I did like it. <laughs> Yeah, Charlie. Charlie Greer, gonna treat you right. 77 WABC, let's have some fun. Oh, Charlie, if you only knew <laughs> what I'm going through. Oh, you see what, what they got you here, you... You laugh whether you like it or not. Yes, I love my job. 
You gotta love it. Since WABC had been spending all that money for the rights to use the song Manhattan as the basis of their logo, they finally decided to use the song Manhattan as the basis for a jingle. I'll take Fun City and WABC. We can't leave Fun Vibrations before we acknowledge a few of the novelty cuts, which were all based on novelty songs of the day. For example... Winchester Cathedral You're bringing me down was turned into this. And believe it or not, this song was played on the station <laughs> and it begat the chicken logo. <laughs> All examples of when fun was allowed on the air. We'll continue our story in the next segment. John Wolfert. B1 Radio. The summer of 1967 became known as the Summer of Love when as many as 100,000 young people converged in San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury neighborhood. They were called hippies or flower children. Many of them opposed... But WABC always preferred to emphasize music, so they reworked the jingles as The Power of Music, or Music Power. Music Power. 1977, Nevertheless, WABC wanted the jingles to be even more explosive, and so was born Pam Series 34C. This package also included a couple of solo jingles that featured Peyton Park, who was able to sing in a style reminiscent of Ray Charles. 77, with the power of music, WABC. Well, now, little man gonna come on now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying right now. Do you think I'm gonna play this to you tonight? Now, no, 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 no. ABC Music Power, Power, Power. Oh, yeah! Everybody know. Mm, mm, mm. 77 WABC Power, Power, Power Music. This package hit the air on New Year's Day, 1968. That was the same day that the ABC radio network split into four separate networks 
and that Johnson Sedan news sounder that had been used every hour since the late 50s was finally replaced. And this is the last time that familiar sound will be heard. This is the last radio newscast from New York on what we know as the ABC radio network. Beginning tomorrow morning, ABC will split into four new radio networks. There'll be more affiliates and more newscasts. But that familiar sound has now retired. That's the latest news from ABC Radio, Don Baker, ABC, New York. The new sounder for the ABC Contemporary Network was created by PAMS. The next custom jingle project for WABC went on the air in late 1968. It was to sound a bit more contemporary using lots of Moog synthesizer and other interesting effects. It was Series 36, Contempra. WABC! Most music. The 24 hour excitement. WABC. On the first night that jingle package was used, even the DJs were surprised by some of the new cuts. WABC, AM and FM, New York. More music on 77 WABC. What can I say? Chuck Leonard. But Chuck figured out what to do with it. Oh, that's Stevie Wonderful right here at 77 for once in my life. The chime time, 29 after 11. He steps into the phone booth. He's just a guy in a mohair suit, and he takes off his suit, and he's just an idiot in his long underwear. And then he says the magic words, music power, and a boat of lightning comes down from Mount Olympus, and there for all the world to see. Chuck Leonard! WABC Instant Replay! Chuck Leonard! Partly cloudy skies. 31 WABC degrees. Gonna be a little rain tomorrow. Sorry about that. All the rain is already waiting for you. It's up there on cloud nine. There's a cat up there with some buckets. He's gonna pour it down on you. You be ready, won't you? Temptation's here to sing. All in all, Series 36 didn't stay on the air terribly long, and it was replaced in the summer of 69 by Series 37. Music comes here to play WABC. This package was a return to the four male vocal groups singing in tight harmony, and it was called Play Power. The idea being that the word play was worked into many of the jingles. W-A-B-C, music, power, play. W-A-B-C, playing through. W-A-B-C, power, play one, play one, play one. Play one. Play one. Play one. Romeo is here to play. And tying in with the word play, this package introduced a series of jingles to introduce oldies by year, one fast. WABC, play back 64. And one slow. WABC, play date 1965. Nevertheless, the package still had a lot of references to music power. 
Music Power, WABC. It was 1969, and things in radio had begun to change. The Bill Drake format was in full swing with short a cappella jingles, and lots of other stations had tightened up their format. So the reality is that the most used jingle out of this package became this one. W-A-B-C. Of course, that was just an edit from a longer cut that nobody ever heard. Our journey through the jingle history of WABC concludes in the next file, part three.